Hi friends, this is Rikan. In this video, I'm going to show you how to generate auto IDs. Uh, to generate auto IDs, I'm taking the help of employee tables. Yeah, employee data table uh, have five columns: employee ID, employee names, address, phone, salary, and I mentioned employee ID as primary key because I don't want to insert any duplicate IDs here. And you can see the employee table is completely empty. Now let me show you a design the employee form here. I declare a uh, employee ID is label because I don't want to insert any employee ID manually because that I want to get automatic from coding. Uh, let me see how we uh, let me see priority uh, code execution of it displaying here you see employee id is getting emp1 is getting automatically i didn't return any uh, i didn't enter any value here uh, let let me show you how it's getting in page load i'm calling a method generate auto id this auto generate ID is means what? Oh, sorry, I declare connection here and I declare string here with the EMP. I'm passing a query select count EMP ID from employee. The count is nothing but yeah, it counting the records in this column EMP column. A number of how many records are inserted here? There is no records in this EMP ID, so the value of this count will be zero. That zero will be storing in this int at the time of execution. At the time of execution, we are storing the zero into this. After connection close, that zero I want I'm I want to increment because I don't I I won't be stored like EMP zero. I want to store that EMP1 that's the only reason I'm incrementing here the 0 will be 1 1 uh, that I will be 1 now here our, I'm displaying that values in label I'm calling this EMP ID and I'm saying that one value to this string how I'm saying this I'm calling that EMP here plus I dot to string uh, like that just that displaying here. Yeah. if you see if I comment this that will display EMP 0 you see that will display EMP 0 I uh, don't want to mention that is EMP 0 because there is no employee 0 will be there employee 1 is the only valid thing that's the only reason I'm removing this so, uh, execute okay when I enter the values here in this text box, when I click submit button, the whatever this four, whatever this four uh, text box data will be stored along with this employee ID into this da database table, and then afterwards, then afterwards the employee ID will be displayed automatically employee two and this text box will be clear I return code for that too. connection connection open and inserting query I have written here when I, then when when this query executed I am calling this auto generate ID auto generate ID again this query will be executed again here count will be 1 because I have one record now. Employee ID one record will be there, so the count will be one. When it's the I will be one. After closing connection, the I will be incremented to two. So that label will be display EMP plus two. EMP will be displayed to here, and uh, this clear text box will be clear the previous value which we have entered here. Let us see. Let me show you practically. Here, when I click submit button, the data will be stored into database. There is no data here. 
then afterwards the water with the text box data is it will clear and the employee ID will be show employee 2 it will show it will be get automatically let me show you you see it is being employed to automatically I clear all this text box value now let me check in database you see here because the the count of the employee ID is 1 the count of employee ID is 1 so the one value will be stored in this integer and that I will be increment here plus 1 increment to 2 so EMP plus 2 that will be displaying here EMP2 like that you can generate employee ID you can use this uh, code in any kind this kind of example if you want to use you can use this code if you like this video please subscribe my youtube channel